Hello everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day because I made a thing. But before I tell you about the thing, let me tell you about what the thing is inspired by. It's inspired by one of these network cable testers. When I first started doing networking, uh, there was no you know cable tester like this. You'd crimp something and it would either work or it wouldn't. And if your pin eight was a little flaky, um, you know you just have to figure that out the hard way and probably just cut the end off and recrimp. But eventually, something like this became forty, fifty dollars, and now they're five or six dollars. And if you do any kind of networking at all, there's really no reason not to have something like this. Um, but back in the day, before I did a lot of networking, I would do a lot of serial connections like these. These nine pin serial DE9, often called DB9 connectors, and I'll probably call it a DB9 from time to time. Um, and so I decided to make an Arduino nano based board that would allow me to test these things and see where the pins were going. And you may think that the goal of this thing is just to figure out if there's any kind of broken pins in your cable, but that's just part of the story. Because if you lived through the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is the fact that the people who made these cables and these connectors were on cocaine. They were on lots and lots of cocaine. And so when you plugged in one of these cables, you had no idea what was going to happen. You had no idea if the thing was wired straight through or not. And heaven forbid you plug in one of these things you have no idea what's going on in here and where these wires are routed and stuff like that and so you don't know why your modem doesn't work and so that is why i made this board so i want to thank pcbway for sponsoring this project this is just one of a series of prototyping and cable testing projects that i've been building and uh, the fact that i can teach myself keycad and do this multiple times you can see i screwed up the first one uh, is just awesome. These boards cost $5 for 10 of them plus a little bit of shipping. So I try to combine a bunch of orders at once and just combine all the shipping. And it's great. I get them in about a week. And if I screw up, I just do it again. And that is the beauty of PCB Way. They help me keep these projects going. And once I develop them, then I can share them with you. And speaking of sharing, I'm sharing this project with you on PCB Way's shared projects. All you have to do is uh, go to the link and you click add to cart and you can add 10 of them for five bucks and you can have these things to your door in about a week. So I wanna thank PCB Way for both sponsoring this video and making this project possible. Let me give you a little tour of what we have going on here. We have the send side and we have the receive side. And the idea is that you have a male and a female on each side so that you can use any of the variations of the cables. And uh, so we've got two nine pin connectors on sending, two on receiving. You have the LEDs over here that tell you which pin you're sending out on. You have the LEDs over here that show you what you got on the other side got nine resistors of whoever cares what value, probably 330 ohms, something like that. You've got some test points over here so you can kind of clip in and see what's going on there. And then you also have uh, all the pins of the Arduino broken out here. I did make an add-on to put a screen up here and I may add that uh, in the future. That would just be in the code that would be super simple to deal with. Uh, so basically what you do is you grab the code from my repo and you upload it to any standard uh, Arduino Nano and plug it in with the USB connector this way and I'll show you what you get. So if I take a standard nine pin serial connector over here and a nine pin male on this side and plug them in, you'll see that all of a sudden we have continuity and you can see that pins one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are all lighting up in order on my roughly soldered proto board. But I went into my bag of tricks and grabbed this 25 pin cable that was simply labeled serial cable and I plug it in and I've got a male on this side and I've got a female on this side and you will see that pretty much all hell breaks loose because these things although they look unassuming there's nothing on here saying no modem or anything like that uh, we've got things wired all kinds of crazily in here and you wouldn't know that without busting out a meter and trying to uh, detect what pin is what and you can see that when you start plugging in adapters like this one and I plug in over on this side my nine pin female and I plug in this side my nine pin male 
you can see that we have huge chunks of pins that aren't even connected at all. You've got big blank spots in there. And that's the craziness of the 80s, kids. That is insane. And you have no idea what's going on inside of these adapters when you plug them in. And this thing will help you find that out. All right, so I had a couple of extra minutes, so I decided to um, put a screen on here. Now, as far as the headers go, uh, there's not really a particular standard. This one is a different order than this one. Some have the header on the left, some have the header on the right. It's just all over the place. Um, but what I decided to do was to use some extra long headers since they did line up on this way and just put a little spacer here so that I can actually push down on the, on the thing and I'm not having any issues. And you'll see that when this is plugged in, it might be a little hard to read, but you can see it says pin one, pin two, pin three, and that's the pin that it's sending out on. And the advantage of adding the little screen is that when you plug it in, um, you're not going to get anything on the send side if there's no connection, but this will tell you what it's trying to send. So I'm trying to send four and you're just not getting anything. And so, um, you know, you don't absolutely need it, but it's kind of nice to have it. So I added the ability to add a screen. So that about wraps it up. I have the shared project, so you can get these PCBs over at PCBWay.com. You can also get the code. I've got a version of the code with the screen, a version of the code without the screen. You can speed it up, slow it down, whatever you want to do uh, for your own purposes. And I just want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.